All right, guys, I'm taking a break here in the office and um, just getting uh, caught up on some CAM work. Uh, CAM is the code that you make to instruct a CNC machine how to machine something. So uh, I'll might show that on the on the videos later or might, you know, put it up or, you know, whatever. It depends on what people want to see. Um, but what I really wanted to talk today about was uh, the rear end, the back end of the car, um, not the rear end, that'll be later, um, but the back end of the car, um, you may have seen it in some of the previous videos. I've been working on getting um, some of the tin work out of the car um, and then making some changes to it, moving it up, and then also getting a, few, a new fuel tank. So um, over the weekend, Rick and I uh, did a bunch of welding and um, got the tank tacked, got the tank welded, got the tank mounted in the car, um, remounted one of the fuel pumps, um, which was the big pump, and we'll be working on getting the small pump mounted here pretty soon. And then I also made an order today for a bunch of plumbing. So um, it's now called fittings. It used to be called plumbing. So essentially all the stuff for the fuel cell, um, the fuel tank, uh, the, the lines coming out of the tank, going to the, um, the fuel pumps, and then they um, merging together and going to... Uh, <laughs> cats making noise um going uh you know in, into like a single line and then off to the the front of the motor or front of the car so i'm um, working on that stuff right now um i should get a lot of those fittings tomorrow so we'll see how that turns out um and i've also got uh so yeah it's monday we've had all weekend to work on stuff so this video is going to be uh just kind of covering what we did over the weekend um so it doesn't seem like there's a lot of stuff done but honestly uh, the fuel cell was a ton of work and, um, we've got it done now and, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically ready to go. So with the exception of the fuel line stuff, which needed to be revamped, even if we kept the same cell in it. So not really any different. And honestly, there's more room to work with, um, under the back side of the back end of the car now. So, um, we're in a better spot there. Um, but let me know what you like and don't like about these videos because, um, Honestly, these ones, the, the ones with the time lapse and stuff, they're super easy to set up, there, but I need to do more post-processing with them. I've got to put them on my computer and then do a voiceover and stuff. So there's more work involved in doing that. Um, if people love these rather than the raw iPhone video, like honestly, on my iPhone, just whip out iMovie and splice together clips and save, export, and upload to YouTube. Super easy for me to do. If uh, there's a lot more value in the time lapse for people, I'm happy to do that too, so. Okay, so this is uh, me putting together the uh, fuel tank, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking all the panels, and they, they actually, so this is 5052, and I was taking the panels, um, which all had plastic uh, coating on them, and pulling the coating off, and then um, taking acetone, cleaning up each one of the panels, and then ultimately getting things taped together. So I use the green tape here because it is super sticky and um, generally works pretty well. And um, so went through and pulled all the plastic off, labeled the panels, got them all taped together, and uh, then just went from there. So um, this went pretty well. I, I didn't really have too many issues. There were a few spots where I did have to trim, and we knew that going into it. Um, the bottom panel itself had a section on the right-hand side that needed to be um, trimmed off, and, and that was due to the model itself. Um, although we did follow the model really closely, um, essentially exactly, uh, there was still just a little bit of variances, tolerances that we had to deal with. So. Um, all in all, it went together pretty well, and um, yeah, when we were done with that, we uh, started welding. All right, so um, this went pretty well here. Um, the wonderful thing about the time lapse is it really looks like I know what I'm doing, um, even if I don't. Uh, so I can just do some filler here. I'm joking. Um, but seriously, uh, this went pretty well. I didn't really have too many issues with it. Um, I was happy with uh, all the welding that, that happened here, and uh, we'll do some final things to make sure that it's not leaking or anything like that, but, um, you know, just let you enjoy this. It looks uh, pretty cool, actually. All right, it's been a fun morning. Uh, nice. Been uh, welding for a bit, uh, working on this right now. Um, got it tacked yesterday. Uh, there's a camera back there doing some time lapse, so we'll see if that turns out. 
and uh, yeah, I'm just let my torch cool down. It is air cooled, and I ran it for too many minutes, so um, I'm gonna let it cool down, take a break, uh, maybe get some water or something, and um, then I'll continue on. Hopefully, the uh, time lapse over there uh, shows some good stuff. So, happy Sunday! All right, so this is uh, more welding, just finishing up the few final weld beads that I had to do here. And um, again, no big deal, just kind of kept rolling with it and uh, finished up the tank. All right, wide angle here. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background. It's my welder cooling off right now. Um, I just went through and welded this puppy up. Uh, you know what I forgot to do totally and I knew it and then I forgot it and then I knew it and then I forgot it again is I need to put uh, some sump pickups here so I've got some 10 a.n. weld bungs that I've got to break out and uh, get some holes popped in here unfortunately I had this all tacked together when I realized it um, or I knew it before forgot it tacked it all together and uh, so anyway went ahead and welded up everything this was supposed to be tip over this is uh fuel return uh i bought a new tip over valve so i'm not actually going to use that right now i'll just cap it off but the hole was too big for the actual new tip over valve so here's the hole for the new tip over um fuel fill um blocked off tip over return and then uh like i said i'll punch two more holes in there um other than that everything else is welded up i'll have to get some uh it's a little heavy, um, heavier than I expected. Um, I gotta get some brackets made up so that I can get this mounted in the, uh, in the frame rails. And, um, what we'll do is, uh, after I get all the welding done on this, I'll figure that out and we'll go from there. But all right. So basically what I did was mark out where I wanted these sump inlets and then went ahead and drilled them out and then went and cleaned everything out, tried to get as much of the shavings out as I could and then welded them up and that's that okay you got that welded up we got everything welded up the only thing we've got to do is put um, some brackets on it but we don't know what we're doing yet for that so here we go we're gonna see if this fits uh -uh. got this kind of where we need it to be um, there's some calibrated blocks holding everything where we want it this should give us a good idea um, see there's a bit of room down there a bit of room back here and uh, like I said calibrated blocks um, I actually haven't looked at this yet so I mean this uh, yeah, it's got to move to the left a little bit but we'll, we're fine it's still hot so um, I'm going to let this cool down a little bit, but I wanted to put it somewhere. And, you know, once this is cool, um, yeah, we'll square it up in the chassis. Uh, we'll figure out something for mounting brackets. You'd know if you saw one of my previous videos, it's 7.9. If you didn't, it's about 7.9 gallons. Um, the old tank was three, so um, three and a quarter, something like that. So um, quite a bit larger, and this is going to be much, much uh, better for us, I think, so. All right, so I started out by myself and essentially what I was doing is marking out the brackets that I wanted to cut and then bend. Um, I put some holes in them and things like that. And at this point in time, Rick was not there. So I was working on the driver's side and I basically wanted to make some 90 degree brackets that would uh, weld onto the side of the fuel cell and then allow me to essentially install the cell right on top of the frame rails. So um, this is what you're seeing here. Um, at some point in time, Rick showed up and um, he helped me out with the right-hand side. I think I was pretty well, I think I had one of the right-hand side ones done. Um, and then Rick got there and was able to give me a hand the rest of the day. So that was great. Um, the other thing too uh, that we had going on was kind of tried to get a gut check on everything that's going on on the car. Um, we have a few projects as you can see there's a, on the left hand side of the screen here there's the acetone but above the acetone there is a list of major projects that we are doing so um, on that list we actually have uh, a number of things that you'll see over the next few weeks. Um, I think we have eight left and you can see Rick actually showed up here 
at this point and was giving me a hand. We were noodling on how we needed to do this stuff and get it all figured out. So uh, Rick's a great help. He's been uh, with me since I started running the car. I think he's missed one event in the last like 14 years, 13 years, something like that. So um, he is basically my crew chief and uh, he knows it probably more about the car than I do. So um, yeah, Rick is actually organizing things here. I don't even know how that works. And um, so he's probably trying to figure out what we need to do in order to get to drag week. So um, here we are just, just finishing up some other stuff and trying to get the fuel tank all squared away. Actually, I'm wrapping up the back end. Um, just got this cut for the access panel. Um, and you can't see anything on video, but there is a fuel cell in there. And actually down here, you can see um, the fuel cell itself too. Uh, we got it all mounted up. We got some brackets going, and I'm sorry about the camera angle, but brackets in here, and uh, yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. But um, hey, there we go. That works. Uh, so there's two of the brackets, and then there's two others uh, on this side as well, holding everything together. Okay, cool. So. Um, Tomorrow's gonna be an exciting day. We've got a few things coming. Um, lots of stuff coming in, lots of changes happening. Uh, we're getting the car to the point where like, there's still a, a lot of stuff to do, but we're making really good progress. And so hope to continue to do that. So anyway, um, yeah, hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments or on Facebook or wherever else social media wise. And uh, yeah, take it easy. See ya.